said to you, Mom. Then he said to her that she said to tell you that she loved you. Because you stood by her when the baby died. So she just wanted to tell you. Especially this is lift, Sister E, before you, O God. 
that we will walk with Lord each step of the way, God. When everyone else has gone back to their routine, oh God, as she realizes that she is alone in the house, may your comforting presence be with her, oh God. Give her strength each step of the way, oh God. May her trust in you never wave, oh God. And may her love for you continue to grow. We pray not only for her, but for all the family and members, oh God, that you will be with them. We pray also for Sunil and her family, oh God, and the third loss of the family member, oh Lord, that you will strengthen them, you will continue to hold them, oh God, and that their faith, oh God, and trust in you that does not wait, oh God, but they will believe that in spite of all that is happening, oh God, that you are with them. Give them peace in the middle of chaos, oh God. And Lord, we lift Sister Gibson before you. Lord, as she makes this transition and leaves us for a little while to Georgia, oh God, we pray that you will be with her. Help her to know, oh God, how much she has blessed us with your presence, oh God, and her willingness to give in the ministry here, to be part of everything that is happening, oh God. And oh Lord, we pray that she will continue to trust you. She will continue to serve you wherever she goes. And oh Heavenly Father, when the time is right, that you will bring her back to us safely. Lord, we pray for our family in this move that you will also be with them in this time of transition. And all of us gathered here around this throne, oh God, whether and even at the Ottawa City in the field, Lord, we pray that you will touch our hearts, touch our minds, touch our bodies, touch those places in us, oh God, that need your special touch today, oh God. Fill us with your presence, fill us with a sense of hope, fill us with, touch us with your healing touch. Most of all, oh God, give us a mind like yours. And as I leave this place, oh God, Lord, I pray that Everything that was accomplished here was pleasing to you. That, oh Heavenly Father, that you will continue to bless this congregation and grow it in faith and numbers, oh God. We pray for Reverend Oshako as she is in the process of saying goodbye to all congregation, oh God. That you will be with them and strengthen them. And as she comes to this congregation, Lord, we pray for her, for her openness, as well as for this congregation openness. May they all work together, O oh God, edify you. We pray, O oh God, for Crawford, as they to say goodbye. All churches in transition this month, O oh God, that your will will be done. For Bishop and Cabinet, and the decisions that they must make, that you will strengthen them. And Lord, I pray that the Lord's Spirit will move around this altar and touch the hearts and minds, address the concerns, O oh God, that we bring be with our children and our youth, O oh God, and they're coming out and they're going in, especially, O oh God, as they begin the summer months. May they never be idle, O oh God, but that they will find ways of being busy, Oh God, that is ways that are healing, ways that will uplift them, oh God. Most of all, oh God, wherever they go, whatever they do, help them to remember who and whose they are, oh God, that they are yours, and give them strength and wisdom in all the decisions that they must make. We pray all these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord. Amen.